ADBA world. What's going on, guys? So, um, so I had a question um, from somebody, and they asked me, um, um, what's the question they asked me? Uh, I just lost my train of thought. They were like, um, oh, yeah, they was they were basically asking me, um, what are the things not to do on 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 an interview, right? And I think that's a really good question. All right, so not twos and to do's as far as your interview is concerned all right number one guys if you have a suit get a nice suit i don't care what you say don't go to kng don't fuck around and go to kng man like kng is like those suits for like two four hundred dollars don't do that don't do that right that's number one get some nice shoes get some really nice shoes right even if you got one suit just one just make it that one suit and then once you start the job then you can get a nice you can get better suits right right so that's number one so guess get a nice suit number two gotta be black gotta be black or blue or brown no more don't wear no green suits if I'm interviewing you you're done right I'm gonna know you're a rookie so number one get a nice suit number two is gotta be black blue or brown uh, sorry or gray sorry black blue or gray and number three get nice shoes they gotta be black always black no browns no browns you're not going to a party you're not trying to look sexy no right just so that do that number three i'm sorry number four get a nice haircut right ladies you know you can wear your suit uh, the female suit right and your, your your hair you know get your hair done all that good stuff right and don't wear too much um well i don't know right just be presentable right i don't want to offend anybody you know how it is all right so number five right whatever you put on your resume you got to be ready to defend because they're going to ask you that right so if you put something on your resume that you weren't that you did you know you didn't do bruh if they asked you that that's your ass right if you can't answer it that's your ass right so because if you can't answer it then that means okay if he's lying about this what else is he lying about you just lost all your credibility right number six make sure that anything that you put on your resume is something that you've actually done right I know it seems like it's the same thing, right? But just make sure it's you've actually done it, right? Not just read about it, you've done it, right? So you can actually talk about it, right? So these are things that you want to you want to see on the resume. Number number seven, don't ever ask. They're gonna ask you interview so how much money you, how much money you want to make. Don't ever just say, look, it's all negotiable. Just end it that way, right? It's negotiable, right? But you expect to be paid, you know, market's worth, right? And you got to be confident right number eight right you got to be confident you got to be confident on your on, on on the interview right stop looking around stop shaking don't be too humble when you sit when you're doing the interview you got to sit back and you relax like you own the room a little bit right because why you've paid the price if you pay the price you got to make sure that you've paid the price right make sure you've paid the price so that way that confidence right when you're doing your interviews is just going to just exude out of you right so that's super important right this is why i say you have to do the work you got to do the work or else they're going to smell that shit off of you like uh oh he hasn't done the work so he's not that confident right so number one you got to look good number two you got don't put anything on your resume that you haven't done number three you got to be confident and number four or number four number nine sorry i'm all over the place today right number nine right ask them questions about the about their environment they want to know that look if this dude is, is confident enough to ask me questions about my environment then that means he's comfortable right and that comfort tells them that yeah he's done some work like he's got some skills you see what i'm saying but you can always tell somebody who's a rookie because they don't ask a lot of questions because they're scared that if 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 I ask you a question and then you throw something back at me, if, if I'm not that confident in myself, I don't know what I'm going to say. So guess what? On an interview, I'm not going to say shit. I'm just going to answer your questions real quick and I'm going to be done. No, guys, on an interview, you got to, you, dude, you got to kill the time. You got about 20 minutes to, 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 to show off, right? Number 10, and this is super important. If they give you ever, if they ever give you like a, if they ever give you like a freebie, like, can you tell me how to back up a database? Oh, shit, no. No, you didn't. Dude, you asking me that? Oh, I'm going to tell you the history of backups, the history of Oracle before I get to that question because you just gave me a layup. The point I'm trying to make is, listen, run with it, right? Spend some time on that question. They want to give you a layup. They want to they, they throw some bullshit at you. Dude, waste time because the, the name of the game is to waste time during interviews, right? Number 10, relax. You got to relax. Just relax a little bit, right? 
you know, throw out a little joke here and there, right? Just relax a little bit, just a conversation, right? All right, so that's pretty much it as far as your interviews are concerned. Again, the most important is don't lie in your on your interviews as far as saying you did something that you never did. Make sense? Uh, number two, just make sure you look the part. Number three, I'm all over the place, but guys, you know what I'm trying to say, right? Do what you're supposed to do, handle your business. But at the end of the day, guys, I, and this is, this is real talk, at the end of the day, if you've done the work, before you do the interview, I promise you, all this stuff that I'm telling you to do, right, it's just gonna come natural. It's just come naturally to you, right? So um, that's pretty much it. So I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.